Hey, how's it going? I'm Pokemon Challenges. I'm probably the best Nuzlocker in the world. Uh, I really suck at these YouTube intros, so uh, that's it. That's, that's all you get. Today, we're going to be looking at all the Elite Four members and champions of the main series games and ranking them on how hard they are for your Nuzlocks. Uh, let's go, let's do it. So the four tiers that we have, we have free. These are uh, champions and elite four members that should like not be a problem for you whatsoever. We have meh, which is like with a little bit of prep, they should be very easy, but like you have to think about it a little bit. Tough is you have to like plan for this or you're gonna lose Pokemon and you're gonna have to think about the fight. And run killer is even with good prep, these are dangerous fights. You know what else is tough though? When you wanna watch a show, but it's not available on Netflix in your country, well, do I have the solution for you? The sponsor of this video, NordVPN, is here to help you out with that. Go to nordvpn.com slash Pokemon Challenges. Get a huge discount on your first two year plan and NordVPN has super fast servers in over 5,200 locations in 59 different countries. You can unlock Netflix and all your other favorite streaming services, all the other regional stuff uh, using NordVPN. There's a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with NordVPN and the services they provide. The CyberSec Suites acts as an ad blocker as well, so you got that integrated. There's a faster connection using Nord Links. Your connection is gonna be super fast, almost as fast as Pog Swallow and Emerald Kaizo. Woo! Uh, there's no data logging, uh, there's 24-7 customer support, um, if anything ever, you know, stops working. There's up to six simultaneous connections that you can have using NordVPN, and uh, they even use double data encryption for extra security on your data. So go to nordvpn.com slash Pokemon Challenges or use coupon code Pokemon Challenges. Check out the link, is down in the description. Thank you so much for NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, let's begin. Uh, Lorelei is obviously S tier. Oh wait, this wasn't the mommy dummy tier list. Never mind. Let's put her back. Okay, so still I think both in Gen 1 and in Gen 3, uh, Lorelei is a pretty tough opponent. That Lapras can be pretty rough. I think she's one of the harder Gen 1 Elite 4 members, if not maybe the hardest. Sh she's definitely tough. I don't think she's a run killer. Like usually if you have an electric type, you can punch through most of her water types and then the non-electric types aren't really that much of a problem. But I, I do think if you don't have an answer for this fight, um, it can be kind of rough. I think Bruno is, I want to say free, um, because he literally has two Onyxes that just die to anything, and um, the Hitmons aren't really a huge problem. The Machamp can be a problem if you don't bring a good answer for it, and you have to always consider that you have to build your team around kind of the other members as well, so you might not have a huge Machamp counter. Bruno is also in Johto, which is worth noting, and in Johto he's a little bit harder. So I'm actually going to average that out, and I'm going to put him in Met tier instead. Agatha, I'm sorry. I mean, especially in Gen 1, but also in Fire Red Leaf Green. I think Agatha is free. Like, the status conditions can be rough, but you should be able to play around them. She can't really do anything, really, to, do, to like, I, I don't know. It's just, like, the problem with these Gen 1 Elite 4s is, like, they have, like, one Pokemon three times. So if you have a counter to it, you're probably going to be okay. So Lance is both in Gen 1 and Gen 2. I think Gen 1 Lance is pretty doable. There's some things that I, I think Gen 1 Lance is somewhere in tough. I think Gen 2 Lance is pretty hard. Dealing with three Dragonites, if, if you didn't get a good answer for it, you have to like morph your team pretty hard. I don't think it's a run killer though. I think he sits like at the top of like tough tier. So that, that's where I would place Lance. Blue uh, is a pretty tough champion. There's a lot of things to look out for. Oh wait, they're separated. Lance champion is here. Okay, so I, I think I still think I still think Gen 1 Lance is tough. I mean, Blue's team obviously changes depending on your starters, so we kind of have to go off of that. But there is a few things that are pretty hard, especially in the in the Gen 3 version of the Blue fight. I think there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You need a good answer to the Zam. You need a good answer to like even Venusaur can be kind of kind of tough. But honestly, on average, like beating a Gyarados is not that hard. The Arcanine doesn't do that much. Honestly, I think Blue. The, the type diversity makes him a little bit rough, but the fact that he has a Pidgeot, honestly, I think blue is meh. I'm sorry. So Will will probably uh, not give you that much trouble. Um, honestly, Zatu is just not that good of a Pokemon. Like, psychic types are hard to beat. The Slowbro is the only thing that I think is... The, the only thing that I think is a little bit tough about that fight, but... Uh, 
I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to just put him in free because like it's, it's, it's just not that hard. Koga, I think, can be a problem because of like double team and. Sh it's honestly also not that difficult of a fight. Poison types are just not that strong. I can't really think of anything that actually poses like a huge threat on this guy's team. It's just mostly like annoying to deal with and you have to prep for it a little bit. <sighs> Karen is so hot, god damn it. Uh, sorry. Karen, uh, I think Karen can be a problem. I think her Umbreon is actually really annoying to deal with, but th there's still just no like huge threats that are gonna wipe you. The, the Umbreon alone makes it really annoying, but like she doesn't have anything, she like, she, there's like no T-Tar or like a, a Haunch Crow or something in like Heart Gold Soul Silver, right? I, I just don't see her as, as that big of a threat. Champion Lance, we talked about it earlier. I think he's definitely tougher than Elite Four Lance, but I still don't think he's a run killer. Cause like if you have an answer to his Pokemon, you have an answer. Like you don't have to build like an entire team around killing this guy. Uh, Sydney, we're in gen three now. Dude, like, I think Sydney's meh. Like, free or meh. Um, I think you do need to bring something to kill this guy's Pokemon. But, man, like, Mightyena is so bad. The, the problem is, in Gen 3, none of his Pokemon do any damage. Because he has all these, like, physical attackers, but he's restricted to special Dark-type attacks, right? Because of the physical special split. In Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I think his team is a little bit more tough. But even there, like, you have so many options. To deal with them. I I, th I think Sydney's just free. I'm sorry. And then like Phoebe. Uh, I I'm sorry. Like, like the dust collapses and this and the sable can be kind of annoying to deal with, but there's just it's it's all ghost types. Like she has no like big threats that can actually kill you. It's it's annoying and you have to think a little bit about the fight, but not that much. I think Glacia Glacia has sheer cold, which is huge. In Nuzlocke, that's like a big X factor. And honestly, her Glalies aren't that easy to kill. And like, there's just a few things in that fight that can go wrong. And like, you won't lose to her, I think, but I think she can cripple the rest of your Elite Four run. I'm gonna put her in tough because of that, just because of the sheer colds and the booms. I think she's like at the bottom of tough tier. Drake. I think Drake's pretty tough. I think his Kingdra is pretty annoying to deal with. I think his Salamence is a threat. Obviously, if you bring like an ice type user, you can sweep this fight. I don't think he's a run killer. You you just basically need to bring an ice mon. But if you don't have the option for that, or if your if your ice attacker sucks, then um, this fight can cause you some problems. I'm gonna put him in tough tier. Uh, I think Steven's a run killer, if not only for the fact of his Metagross. A lot of his Pokemon are kind of free and they're kind of cap, but just the Metagross alone. I feel like makes this fight so difficult. It's actually like a really tough Pokemon to deal with. And he has like a quite a bit of type diversity that you have to play around too. I think I think Steven's the first run killer here. I think Wallace, I'm not sure if Wallace is a run killer to be honest, just because he lacks the type diversity kind of. Um, I really don't understand why they made a water type champion for Emerald, but I think Wallace is like somewhere like mid tough tier. Um, I think there's some things that can definitely go wrong in that fight on like the Gyarados, the Waylord can be hard to kill, the Milotic can be hard to kill, right? Uh, I, I just don't think that there's like this imminent threat to just actually wipe if you face him. Alright, moving into Gen 4. Man, quick forewarning, just looking at this, I think all the Gen 6 Elite 4 members are like super cap because they all have 4 team members for some reason. Anyway, Aeron is like free. Uh, bug types are just not that good. I think Aeron and Platinum is a little bit harder if I remember correctly. I don't see anything actually threatening you in the Aeron fight. Um, I think in Platinum he's like probably more meh. I'm gonna put him at the bottom of meh here because I think his Platinum team is a little bit more threatening. Just because of pl his Platinum team, I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's somewhere here. Bertha. I actually think Bertha is not that easy. <laughs> She, I don't think she's free. I think you need to think about this fight a little bit. Just because of like, sure, like grass types, water types and everything, but like her Pokemon have pretty good coverage. They're pretty strong. They're pretty like high statted Pokemon. You have access to grass knot, but it's, you're not, you're probably not gonna sweep this fight. I, I think Platinum Bertha is like really hard. Or not, or not really hard, but Platinum Bertha is like a problem, right? Between Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, Diamond and Pearl kind of skews this list a little bit. I think she sits somewhere at the top of mid tier. Flint, again, two pretty different teams between Platinum and Diamond and Pearl. 
I think both of his teams are actually pretty tough. Like, obviously, he has, like, two fire types. His diamond and pearl team really sucks, though. I mean, just the fact that he has no fire types doesn't mean that he's not hard to beat, right? If anything, the amount of type diversity kind of complicates things, if anything. I just think, I mean, like, water types are pretty abundant and everything, right? Fire types are pretty easy to counter. I just think that, like, some of his Pokemon can pop off. And uh, I, I see him somewhere in Mantir, to be honest. I think Lucian's tough. I think you need to prep pretty hard for Lucian. And the problem with that is actually that Cynthia is next. And a spoiler alert, Cynthia is, like, probably one of the hardest champions to beat in the game. Or, like, in, in the series. I, I think Lucian sits somewhere at the top of tough tier. If Cynthia wasn't after this fight, this might be easier. But Lucian, like, you need to bring a lot of coverage. There's, like, the Bronzong. Like, you you just you can't just sweep the fight with one Pokemon because, like, either the Bronzong walls you, or the Gallade walls you, or, like, the Giraffe Rig walls, like, your ghost type. Uh, I think Cynthia is the hardest champion probably in the series. Definitely a run killer. Uh, the, the Garchomp alone requires like a lot of planning for your team and makes like every other Elite Four, four member already harder. The, the Togekiss can be tough. Even just like getting through like just all of her Pokemon, they're all pretty high tiered Pokemon. Um, there's, a, there's a Lucario too, right? Like with a lot of planning, you can get around this fight. It's not unbeatable for sure, but you have to plan around Cynthia and especially her Garchomp. She will wipe you otherwise. So I think the problem with some of the Gen 5 Elite Four members is like, if you have a sweep for Chantal, you probably have a sweep for Caitlyn. That's a huge issue, right? Like a Pokemon that sweeps Chantal probably sweeps Caitlyn because uh, it's either gonna be like a dark type or a ghost type that kind of goes through. And this makes planning for this Elite Four so easy that I, I, I'm i almost like, if you don't have a Pokemon like that, but the thing is you're always gonna have a Zoroark. I think I can't really do anything else but put these into free tier because it's just so easy. Um, if, if you don't have a Pokemon that sweeps these, sure, they can cause you some issues, but I don't know. It's just so easy to build a team for these that uh, I don't know. I think like Gen 4, Elite 4 is like pretty tough and then Gen 3 can can be an issue. But like most of these like later Gen Elite 4s is kind of cap. Um, Marshall goes pretty hard. I think Marshall's team can be difficult to beat. Uh, the Conkeldur alone, it does so much damage. I, I, th I think Marshall sits somewhere. The, the thing is his team is still only like four Pokemon, right? The, the me and Xiao too. Sock has sturdy and everything. I think Marshall is like the bottom of tough tier. Grimsley, I think Grimsley can cause some issues. It's still very sweepable. Oh yeah, and gets us aren't on here. I guess because they're not elite four champion members, right? I, I think I think Grimsley is like somewhere in mid tier, at the bottom of there. Okay, I'm not gonna rate uh, Alder because he's elite four round two. Um, I think Iris can kill your run. I think Iris can definitely kill your run. Uh, her team is so difficult. Like there's so many threats on that team. Um, it's really hard to like have a good team for it. Like, the the elite four is pretty easy, but you like, you're still kind of restricting your planning, and then you have to plan everything around Iris. Hydreigon is tough. Haxorus is tough. Uh, I think she's harder than Steven for sure. Okay. Oh my god, dude, Malva is. Oh. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> it's actually been a while for me since I've played Gen Six. Yeah, I don't know. I I just. I think all the Gen 6 Elite 4s are like so free. They all have four Pokemon. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's a fire type leader too. Like, you're going to sweep this team like 10 out of 10 times. I'm sorry. Seabold. There is a D-Dance Gyarados on Seabold's team. So he's definitely not free. Um, there's also like a Starmie. I honestly think Seabold is almost tough. But I mean, like, yeah, you can sweep him with like an electric type is I guess the problem. If you don't have an answer, I, I think he's like bottom of man. It's just like it's so easy to sweep him with like anything that does electric type damage. But um, if you don't have that, then he can be an issue. What's this guy's name? W Wickstrom or some sh- uh, I mean like Eggislash is really easy to cheese. The Probo Pass has sturdy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you just kind of sweep this fight with a fire type. I don't really. Again, if you don't have an answer, this might be tough. But what the f is her name? Drazla? Drazna. Man, I'm sorry. You can't bring like a. F you can't have a four Pokemon Elite Four team, and then I have like Dragalge, Drudigon, Altaria. Like I'm sorry, and the Noivern has like Super Fang. Like this is just—it's just. It's just sh I'm sorry. It's just free. Like, what does her team do? 
All right, and then Diantha. I always forget what her team is. I think it's a tough fight. It's not crazy. I don't know why the champion has a f Gorgeist. Um, and like Aurora isn't exactly hard to beat. The Head Smash Tyrantrum is a problem. The Halucha is like the only big issue. And then I guess Mega Gardevoir can cause some problems. Everything else is so free. I think she's like mad best. All right, Gen 7. I'm just, it's been so long. I have to look up these teams. I'm sorry. Um, Z moves definitely make all of these difficult. What the f why does okay so in in sun and moon three of his pokemon only have two moves why his uh ultra sun and moon team is pretty tough i think it, he's man i think his moves make every fight hard i think he's somewhere here <sighs> olivia oh olivia 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 i don't see how this fight is hard whatsoever the hardest thing about the olivia fight is um Never mind. I think her Elite Four is like free. Acerola. Frostlass can be kind of hard sometimes. Uh, I don't, I don't know. In Ultra Sun and Moon, she doesn't have a Mimikyu. Like, I, I don't, I don't see how this isn't free. I'm sorry. I don't know. These Elite Four members just suck. <laughs> Wait, what the f is this girl's name? She can swing my golf club if you guys know what I mean. Uh, uh, anyway, sorry, this team is so free. What the f <laughs> Her Crobat has f supersonic, bro. Her Tukanon has bullet seed and screech. Never like legitimately laughed at a joke from a stream, but the Olivia one got me. Well played. I can't believe that's the one that got you. In Ultra Cinnamon, she does have a Holucha, which is a difficult Pokemon to deal with in Nuzlocke. And she has like a Braviary with Brave Bird. I, I think, I still think she's like free. Uh, I'll put her at the bottom of tough just for the Halucha. Oh, it's Skill Link Bullet Seed? Cool. I'll put her here then. Professor, I want to touch his abs. What's this guy's name? Kukui. He has a Snorlax. So he's got that going for him. Um, the Lycanroc could be difficult. I don't see how this fight is difficult. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think, I don't know what should make this fight. Tailwind, Braviary, Stealth Rocks, Lycan Rock. Yeah, like, I don't know. I I, I don't see him. I, I think he's like here. <laughs> and then what the f is this guy's name? Who is this? Why does he look like me? Mulaney. He does have a Metagross, so he's not free, I would I would argue. But I, I don't see him being above Matt here. All of his Pokemon share like every single weakness. <laughs> But they're all weak to fire and ground. <laughs> all right, and finally we have Hop. <laughs> yeah, Hop. That's his. That's his name. I don't know what you guys. But yeah, Gen Eight somehow isn't in here. I don't know why. But I mean, Gen Eight doesn't really have an Elite Four. It does have a champion though. So, but I mean, like, I don't know, man. I guess Tauros is kind of a thing. But like, what here kills you? This might be the freest champion battle. I, I don't know. Ultra Sun and Moon's like the hardest game in the series, vanilla, but this champion fight is... It's not free, but like, it's probably the easiest in the series. Um, instead of this guy, I'll, I'll, I guess I can talk about Leon. I think Leon's pretty difficult. If the, So pretend this is Leon for Sword and Shield. I, I think Leon is like really tough. Like, like somewhere up here, I think. I don't think he's a run killer, but there's a lot of coverage in that fight. The thing about Leon is you don't have to do an Elite Four Gauntlet beforehand, so you can build your entire team just to beat him, right? All right, boys, that's been the Elite Four and Champion tier list. Make sure to leave a comment about how wrong I am and how the order is all messed up and how, oh no, Bruno was above Aeron. That makes no sense. I'll make sure to read none of those comments. Um, also leave a like. And only like half the people that subscribe to my channel, wait, no. Only like half the people that watch my channel are subscribed, so it, you make sure to click that subscribe button. It's down there. You think you're subscribed, but you're actually not, so go click the button. All right, I suck at the outro, so just go watch the next video in your endless cycle of internet content consumption, because we all know that you're not going to stop after this video. You're going to click the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Maybe shut it off after this. Go get a drink. Go outside. You know? And uh, talk to a nice person in your life. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.